You don't have to go to a restaurant. We specialize in 13, 14 different cookies, but the cookie dough is what's really taken off. To enjoy Alabama's fabulous food scene. We have a variety of different types of steak milk. Cow brain. Cow brain. We will love cow brains. After WVTM 13 Chronicle introduced you to Alabama's amazing chefs, we hit the road. I would say this is a, this is the happiest food truck. Searching for notable food trucks. Everything's fresh in our truck. It's not just for spiciness. It adds a flavor as well as the health benefits. And sharing the culinary creations we discovered. I would have no self-control. I know. I, would just, I can I know. eat this all day. But that's what makes it so tasty. This is awesome. Isn't it good? This is delicious. WVTM 13 Chronicle Food Trucks with Friends. With a name like Raspberry, it's no wonder Samuel and Crystal are in the food business. We hope you enjoy it. They own Cheese and Food Truck, specializing in gourmet grilled cheeses. We lived in Wisconsin for a number of years, and so that's why we came up, or how we came up with the, the, the grilled cheese, because Wisconsin is the land of cheese. Chef Crystal went to culinary school. She takes care of the food. It's a wonderful experience because you get to share things that you like to create. My wife is, is uh, creative when it comes to food. It's all she thinks about. Samuel, a retired Army major, is in charge of the business side. That's a total of $32. There you go. I invited meteorologist Stephanie Walker to check out Cheezen's mouth-watering selections. This food is right up her alley. Are we going to share? No. Well, maybe. We'll see. Maybe. Okay. You have the palate of a five-year-old I love French fries. See? And chicken nuggets. What's not to love? Mac and cheese. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm a foodie. You're not a foodie. I'm not. Which is why I chose this truck to talk to you, because it's cheese. You like cheese? Cheese, bread. What's not to like? Right? Stephanie is also a competitive athlete. She's even done some Ironman triathlons. That's a 2.4-mile swim, 112-mile bike ride, then a full marathon, a 26.2-mile run. I still like to exercise, but now I exercise so that I can eat cheese. <laughs> That's why we exercise in our old age, the right? Method to your madness. That's right. Okay. After all that working out, there's room for dessert, right? Cheesin has that as well. One of our favorite milks and a famous popular milk that's gained us national attention is our birthday cake milk. Mm. And it's inspired by birthday yeah. cake ice cream. According to USA Today, Cheesin serves the best grilled cheeses in the state. Acknowledgement that solidified the Raspberry's decision to move their truck from Wisconsin to Birmingham. It's just an awesome place to do business. The owners of this food truck agree. Their truck is called the Anatomy of Pie. You're probably thinking dessert, right? She wanted to spell it P-I. Instead of P-I, we're not strictly to a flaky crust. So we can do lettuce wraps, rice wraps, anything in the future. It's like what's written on the front of our truck, pie knows no boundaries. Okay. And she's always loved pies. They do have some dessert pies, but mostly they do savory entrees. We use an eight inch circle flaky crust, put our daily fillings in and fold in half. Chef Angelique Smitherman likes to get creative with her fillings. Everything's fresh in our truck. Nothing's ripping poor. We actually try to get the freshest ingredients we can, so a lot of our ingredients are very seasonal. Anchor Ian Wright's tagged along to try it out. We ordered the Italian sausage and spinach pie along with the ham and cheese and a tomato basil pie. I'm so used to making sure things aren't too hot with kids. You know when you're like trying to cool all the all the food off? Ian is dad to two boys, four-year-old Grant. He's very, very smart. And we've got kind of this kids encyclopedia now that we're going through. And he's just fascinated by, last night we were talking about coniferous and uh, deciduous trees. And Carter, who's one and a half, he's a climber. You've got him seated at the kitchen table and you're getting something behind you and you turn around and he's standing up like trying to get on the table. <laughs> or like you walk into the living room and you think he's playing with toys with Big Brother yeah. and he's like standing on the coffee table and he just kind of gives you this look like, what? <laughs> Ian loved the sausage. The tomato basil though was my favorite. Super hot. Yeah. Mmm, but good. That's good. That's really good. On most Wednesday nights, you can find Anatomy of Pie at Cahaba Brewery. They say food trucks and breweries are the perfect combination. Have a beer in one hand and pie in the other. 
That must work for other dishes as well because we found this food truck at Slag Heat Brewing Company in Trustville. Husband and wife team Vinesh and Shri boast the first and only Indian food truck in the state. Concern was people doesn't have more of the awareness of what kind of food we, we sell and uh, there's a perception that the Indian food is just the spicy. I must admit that's what I thought, but they have dishes for even the biggest heat wimps like me. They say in India, spice is about much more than just the heat. It's not just for spiciness, it adds a flavor as well as the health benefits. Like she adds uh, turmeric every in every almost every single dish. It's a uh, antibiotic spices like saffron, uh, green cardamom have a lot of health benefits too. Guy Rawlings was the perfect friend for this outing. He knows a thing or two about Indian food. His wife Diana is from the southern coast of India. It was kind of an adventure. You know, you 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 meet someone from a different culture, you learn some different things. I felt like I was learning something new every day. He's embraced everything about Diana's culture from the clothing to the food. She's doing a lot of cooking too, and she likes to cook Indian food. She does. She likes to cook it a lot and she makes it extra spicy, so I've become a little bit immune to the, <laughs> to the heat. As much as he likes his wife's cooking, it was distance that made his heart grow fonder. She was in Dallas and I was here in Birmingham for a, a year. Mm -hmm. And after a while, it's, that's kind of hard on a relationship. So I decided, listen, let's go ahead and, you know, ring this thing up. All right, that's so romantic, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> you might be wondering about this truck's name, Hyderabad Dumb Zone. Shri has to explain that one a lot. Hyderabad is the city where we used to live in India. It is famous for the food and spices. And dumb means we, we cook most of our food in steam. So dum means like we cook the food in slow cooking process and steam. Yes, yes. Mexican food worth waiting in this long line. Since UAB is right here, we have a lot of diverse people come. <laughs> and this truck is popular with the four-legged crowd. We have ice cream and popsicles and ice cream sandwiches. Tasty treats for man's best friends. If you've traveled near First Avenue and 14th Street North in Birmingham around lunchtime, you've probably noticed the lines at Dos Hermanos Taco Truck in the gas station parking lot. Huge lines. Oh yes, we're very thankful for that. I mean, very known. Some people come here every day sometimes. 19-year-old Jordi Guzman is the third generation to work in this truck. He says his grandfather and father opened the food truck first in the Los Angeles neighborhood of Watts a few decades ago. Their only goal was to escape poverty. My dad, he's been through a lot, and thank God he finally got to this point. The family's origins are in Michoacan, Mexico, and many of their customers have Mexican roots as well. It feels good knowing that, you know, we, we give them a piece of home while they're here in the States. They attract a diverse crowd with diverse tastes, and the menu reflects that. Cow brain? Cow brain. People love cow brain, too. Just, I mean, I personally don't like it, but people Does it love look it. like brains? Before we smush it up, yeah. It's very okay. soft. It has like a real bland but soft taste. I don't, okay. I don't get I, how people do. I'm not brave enough for that either. Meteorologist Harmony Mendoza and I ordered tacos, quesadillas, and my favorite, ceviche. Si, habla espanol. Muy bien. Her father was from Belize in Central America, but she traces her family tree to Spain. I felt like it was just important to me, especially when I started to understand what my name meant, mm -hmm. to speak the language. Yeah. And so I wasn't really raised around people, native speakers. She loves Mexican food. The spicier, the better. And she's trying to pass that on to her six-year-old son, Angelo. It's disturbing to me when he just wants like chicken nuggets. And mac and cheese. And mac and cheese, but he does like quesadillas. Well, we should be just picking these up, right? I'm gonna pick them up. We're not doing this right. Jordy's dad is pretty much retired these days, and now the Hermanos man the two different taco trucks in town. You work every day here? Yes, ma'am. I work Tuesday through Saturday. Is this gonna be your career? Yes, I told myself I'd never do it, but then now I'm here. <laughs> so how'd you get talked into it? Uh, business is good. The business is good, that's all I can say. <laughs> The ever-evolving menu at the Vintage Comfort Food Company truck is rooted in tradition. Anything that my grandma would have made and let me go take a nap on the couch, that's what I'm going to make. Heather Crittenden is the owner and chef, and she changes her menu offerings based on the season. Right now we are having half-pound burgers on a brioche bun. We have some really good grilled cheeses, things like that. When the fall comes, we'll be having pot roast, fried pork chops, all that good, like, southern comfort food. So that's my 
favorite times. Jeff Eliasoff and I caught up with Heather and her vintage truck in Birmingham Southside. I would like a burger well done. Jeff anchors WVTM 13's weekend newscast and maybe you've guessed he's not from around these parts. You're a New Yorker in Alabama. <laughs> How did that happen? <laughs> well, you know, our business is such you go where the work is. Yeah. And if somebody had told me I'd spend most of my career in Dallas and in Birmingham, uh, two places that were very foreign to me, I never would have believed it. But here we are. Not an Alabamian by birth, but by choice. He says he's totally adapted to our lifestyle. In terms of ease of living, um, this has been a wonderful thing. And, you know, my mom comes to visit and she said, this is paradise. And it really is. And he's come to love Southern comfort food. I've never met a burger and fries I didn't like. Especially when the comfort food has a special ingredient. I put a lot of time into this. My employees put a lot of time into it. We strive to be one of the best. We, I pride myself in customer service. I pride myself in quality ingredients. Half the stuff on the truck is not frozen. We make it ourselves. So I put a lot of love into it. From cheesesteak to cheesecake, frying up all kinds of foods, but that's just part of it. For all of our first responders, and if they're on duty, they eat for free. I would have no self-control. I, I would just, I can I know. keep this all day. Plus, how about a sweet treat eaten raw? The cookie dough is what's really taken off. This is not like licking the spoon in your grandma's kitchen. They didn't name this food truck Fryer Truck for nothing. Everything they serve goes into an egg roll wrapper. Then it's fried. Ashley Rayford is the owner and chef. She makes everything from Philly cheesesteak to cheesecake. You're probably thinking, wow, that's fattening, right? Well, you might be surprised. Of course, having the oil in it does kind of raise that a little bit. Um, but for the most part, we use a very low fat content with our beef and our egg roll wrappers are only 15 calories. Ashley says they're in the process of sending their dishes to a lab to be tested so they can include the calorie count on the menu. But her vegetarian option, the spinach artichoke wrap, is only about 125 calories per roll. But when I treated Eunice Elliott to dinner, we weren't thinking about calories. I know what I want. Cheeseburger and cheesecake, please. Hopefully you recognize Eunice from WVTM 13's early morning newscast, but these days her dogs seem to be getting just as much attention. Everybody pretty much knows about my two dogs, Sugar and Bella. They're pretty famous. They are actually pretty famous. They have their own Instagram and Facebook page. It's funny, the other day I posted a picture of one of them and someone says, you don't post as many pictures and they're the highlight of my day. What's going on? I was like, oh, sounds like you might need to get a life. <laughs> <laughs> Fryer Truck is about more than just good food. You can see that in their logo. That's a fire department badge. Ashley's husband is a Hueytown firefighter and often helps on the truck. That's why firefighters eat for half price at the Fryer Truck. And if they're on duty, their meal is free. Being a fire wife, the whole family has to sacrifice. So we just really want to just find a way to give back to them. And that's the best way that we could. It's a good dog. This food truck is for the dogs. I mean, no, literally, it's called Fetch, and dogs and dog owners are the clientele. Oh, that's a good dog. I would say this is a, this is the happiest food truck. <laughs> like, there's no, you can't not be happy coming here. We found Fetch at a Wednesday night Barons game. They call it Wet Nose Wednesday for obvious reasons. <laughs> they love the truck. They know what's here. They know they're going to get treats, and they'll come stand right in front of the window and, and look up and wait. It's an idea Allison Whitfield Smith dreamed up about four years ago. She left corporate America in search of a career that matched her passion. It was the one thing I couldn't talk myself out of. Anchor Sherry Falk shares that passion. I just love them. What's not to love about a dog or a cat? I have three cats and I had two dogs. My 20-year-old poodle just passed away in June, lived a long, great life. Um, unfortunately, he just, you know, it was his time. But I do have a Chihuahua. She's 14. Her pup couldn't make it to the game, but my Lola was there, and we spoiled her rotten with treats from Fetch. I think we have to try the ice cream. Okay, Beefy brown, brown ale. ale. Okay, we're gonna get six, we're gonna split these. And then we gotta get a princess cookie for your princess too. They just, they make a house a home, I think, yeah. you know? Yeah. Uh, maybe it's because I don't have human children. Yeah. They're more so my kids. Sherry loves all pups, but has a soft spot for rescue animals. Right now, she could care less what you're saying because no. she's got a turkey cigar and some ice cream she's here. Got... For pet lovers like Sherry, Fetch is a doggone good idea. There's so many places to take your dog, and, and in particular, millennials seem to like to take their dogs wherever they can. So um, 
I, I have a lot of customers who they said they just won't go places if they can't bring their dog. Birmingham is really perfect place for it. Now it's time for dessert. This is so good. How about a doozy or a sundae? Cheers. <laughs> Cookie dough you won't get in trouble for eating. Tara Logel says she was meant to run this dessert food truck. That's why she calls it Cookie Destiny. So that was really my dream. Tara doesn't sell typical cookies. Much of what she serves is uncooked cookie dough. It is edible. There are no eggs in this dough. Her best sellers are what she calls sundaes. It's cookies, cookie dough, buttercream, and ganache. She makes all different flavors, even one that you probably never heard of. We have a unicorn which the kids go crazy over. <laughs> so it's birthday cake, it's sprinkles, um, and then it has all kind of candies, gummies, marshmallows, Skittles, everything. Wow. Now I had no problem finding a friend okay, to visit this truck with this. me. Brittany Decker jumped at the chance. Cheers. <laughs> I feel like I have to whisper because I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> Don't tell anybody you're eating cookie dough. There are certain things I can justify <laughs> with calories, and something like this, I don't even feel bad about it. And she I shouldn't. She Brittany calories. is an avid runner. She says she is goal-oriented, and she sets them pretty high. My goal this year is to run a marathon once a month this year. And I really had no desire to do this. I just set it after the first one I ran this year, and I, I'm a follow-through type of person, so then I actually wow. had to do it. Be so careful what you say then. That follow through keeps her running and even gives her the opportunity to travel. I went to Yellowstone National Park last month, mm -hmm. ran in Idaho, and it was so beautiful. And I'm seeing parts of the country too that I've never That's seen before. Good. While most food truck operators dream of one day opening a brick and mortar restaurant, Tara went the other direction. She closed her cookie store in Hoover so she could hit the road. It's so much more flexible because you can get, go out and see so many more people. You can go to different parts of town. Trustful, Montevallo. This past weekend, we were in North Alabama, and you can't do that in a store. Besides the sundaes and doozies that look like cookie sandwiches, Tara can create all kinds of cookie dough creations for special events, even full-size cookie dough cakes. That's just a sample of some of the amazing food trucks we have found here in Central Alabama. It is the newest growing culinary scene that's really gaining some traction in an area where we have really come to expect good food. So are you interested in finding some of the trucks we profile? Head over to the WBTM 13 website, our Facebook page, or our app. We have links for you there. Check them out. Let me know what you think. Contact me on Facebook or Twitter, and definitely send me a picture of your favorite dish. We'll see you next time, and in the meantime, keep on food trucking. Let me just get that where it's yeah, falling off. <laughs> oh, when you said we're going to try it, I was like, no. oh, we're going to try it. We're going to try it. Can you say it's spicy or crazy? I mean, it's spicy, but it's not like spicy burning Ooh. up your face. Ooh. Ooh. No, it's not. Uh, I, have, I have very sensitive taste buds. This non-alcoholic beverage, because it's the closest I can get to booze at 1130. Uh, we won't be eating that. Okay. We're going to put this in your mouth really right as I ask you a question. <laughs> But you still look like a New Yorker, and you sound like a New Yorker, you know? I try. What's that cheese cone? Oh, just trust me, you like it as cheese. Okay. What is ganache? I'm not really sure, but I know I like it. Hello, sweet girl. Hi, you're so cute. Let me try yours. Maybe mine's hotter. That's a nothing. That's a nothing on, on the scale. The only thing I know is uh, end of day for me, which means, oh my god. <laughs> so you say that a lot. Hey! <laughs> it's only $60 worth of food.